Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. welcome to the Witcher Enhanced Edition Hard Mode Part 25. Okay, so we've just been into the uh, the cemetery and we've cleared out that crypt. We found Raymond's body and we told the gravedigger. So we have completed pretty much everything up there, I think. So that was, that was fun. I mean, there wasn't all that much going on in the cemetery, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, there could have been a couple more spawns, to be honest. That would have made it a bit more interesting, but... We did manage to get a couple of Al Ghouls, so we can turn in that quest to Kalkstein. So that's something at least. We also got a pot of dog tallow. Yeah, so we should be at five pots of dog tallow now. We're almost there. In fact, I'll just head off to the inn and we'll get rid of some of this in my inventory. And then we can go over to Kalkstein. Okay, so we've actually ended up with quite a bit of food again. And we also this time have a couple rings to get rid of. We also found this unknown potion. That's going to annoy me for a little bit, but we'll find out what it is eventually. Okay, so let's head over to Kalkstein. Some of the Vibina had respawned, so that's nice. Anyway, let's head into Talos first so that we can sell some of these weapons. And then we can go to Kalkstein with less of an overburdened inventory. Get rid of that axe. And the Assassin's Dagger. Oh, he'll also take the rings. That's nice. And the whetstones. Might as well. Not using them, so... Yep. Okie dokie. To Kalkstein's. Okay. Oh, and he's up and he is sweeping, so that's nice. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. That's okay. I'm actually here about that job. I'm here about the notice. You have Al Ghul Maro for me? Yep. Yes, three fresh doses. Splendid! Take this gold! I certainly will. <laughs> okay. Gave the contract to him, received 150 orans. Nice. So, we just need to get one more pot of dog teller. And we need a lot more drowned dead tongues actually how many how many do we need five we need five more drowned dead tongues well <laughs> we should get plenty of those in the swamp plenty of those yep we also need to get rid of some of this food so we might as well head to the uh, the traders that's definitely one two three four Five, six, seven. We have seven of the stones. Awesome. But yeah, we've read all of that. Okay, good. Now let's take that dagger. Because it's that that wardrobe is gonna annoy me. Yes, this solution. Okay. Leave you to it, Colxy. Okay. Let's get rid of these food items. Okay, let's get rid of the blueberries, sugar doll, chicken leg, strawberries, dried fruit and nuts, candy, ham sandwich, raspberries. I don't think there's any other use for honeycombs. We've already, I think, <laughs> hope that there's no other use for honeycombs anyway. So yeah, we're done there. And our inventory is particularly light now. Okay, so. The only things we really have left to do in the city now is uh, Shani. We need to talk to Shani, but that's going to be it later on. And, and the dog teller, which we're going to be getting, or at least hoping to get, from Assassins at Night. So, yeah, six Sephira. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll update again when I get my next one. We've got the one from Declan, the Varden. We need one from Vasca. 
Uh, we've got the Malkad, we've got all of those from Melatele. That one's from the swamp, and that one's a tower centric. Yes, yeah, so we've only got those three left, and they're all in the swamp. So we're going to. Oh, gosh. <laughs> a little bit of slow down there. We're going to sleep for a while, and then we will look around the city at night and hope for some dog tallow. Might as well do some farming whilst my necrophage oil is active. Only one suin in this entire place. Might as well level up while we're here. Endurance. So we got some stamina level three. Let's get some extra bleeding for strong steel. And for strong silver. Yeah, you know, I can't really think of anything to use my last talent on, so I think I'll save it. Let's just meditate and leave it at that. My cat has run out. That's annoying. Yes! Two green mold. Hey, sweet. Awesome. Okay, so. I can make a quick circuit looking around for assassins. And then I'll head on to Shani's. Might as well. Oh, I just need one pot of dog teller, guys. Come on. Where are you? Okay, that wraith is attacking the ghouls. Interesting. He didn't take any damage either. I'm cold. Oh. I'm cold. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get any spawns of assassins, so that dog teller is just going to escape me for a while. But we're here at Shani's. Yes. You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for Dandelion. Rosé wine for me. And something for you. Sure, why not? I'll try. Okay. So, we need to get Shani some rosé wine, cherry liquor for uh, dandelion, and tamarian rye for me. Should be easy enough. Oh, you're getting old, Granny. Will Granny say anything if I nick this stuff from the cupboard? No. Good. I just don't want to have to do it later. Okay. Let's head on back to the inn, and we'll grab those alcohols. I mean... We might have to buy one or two, it depends. I mean, I did make some potions not long ago. So it's possible I don't have uh, any Tamarian rye. Or cherry vodka, actually. But we'll see. But I definitely have the rosé. But yeah, then we can get uh, this party over and done with. Okay, so she wanted some rosé. Just one of those, yes. We need some Tamarian rye. Okay, I do have that. And it's 
Cherry Spirit Cardinal. Okay. Yes, I have them all. Good. <laughs> now we can head back to Shani. Okay. Shani, wake up. I've got the booze. Yes. I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I must invite one person to Shani's party. Okay, well, let's go see what we can do about getting Zoltan to arrive. I'm not actually sure where he sleeps. Does he sleep... Does he sleep at Vivaldi's? I don't know. I don't think so. I didn't see him in the in the inn earlier. And I know he does hang around here. No? No, just Vivaldi in here. Okay. Well, <laughs> we may need to rest until morning. Until he's up and about and we can actually find him. That's a little bit annoying. I could, if I could find him, I could uh, invite Siegfried. That would be interesting. Or I can invite Carmen. <laughs> I'm not going to invite Carmen, even though she is right there. There's no reason. You've literally only just met her. I'm not sure how you could make a case for um, Siegfried either, because you've just met him as well. Whereas Zoltan, Zoltan is a good friend, a very good friend, so he is the one you should be inviting, really. I don't know of anyone else you can ask, I'm pretty sure it's only those three, but eh. Okay, let's wait until morning. Okay, the thugs are out, but not the right ones. <laughs> Got clean for a room. Is Zoltan out? That's Monroe, gambler, innkeeper, waitress. No. So we'll have to we'll not have changes. to go looking for him then. Maybe he's on his way. Well, <laughs> we'll have a we'll have a very good look for him. I'm not sure where where he would be. Well, we didn't find Zoltan, but we have found this woman, Hildegard Zolstock, just standing outside the cemetery. So, let's have a chat. <gasps> oh, woe is me! Will no one help me? Why the grief? My husband haunts me. What do I do? Haunts you in your bedchamber? My late husband haunts me. Tell me more. Maybe I can help. My husband died a month since, and now haunts me in my home, wailing nightly. But the worst thing is... I'm listening. Worst? He flies around the cemetery at night, shouting lies about me. Doubtless tongues are wagging already. Set him straight, I beg you! For money. It will cost you 200 orins if I succeed. Oh, that's a hefty sum, profiting off someone else's misery. Well, deal with him and I'll pay. Where will I find you when I'm done? I'm here every day at noon. Why can't I collect payment when I want? Are you daft? My husband flies around ruining my reputation. I'll not be seen in the company of a killer. So long. Okay, so that's the um That's the quest that goes with the Spectre at night. I have absolutely no memory of that woman. None. Wow. Well with a voice like that, you'd have expected her to stick in your memory, but nope. Got nothing. No bells are ringing. Oh well. 
Whatever. It's fine. Okay, Zoltan. Where are you? Yeah, let's check out Vivaldi's. He might be here. I know he hangs around here sometimes, but then he spends most of his time at the bar. Up oh, there he is. No, awesome. Yes? Pate, you in? Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Farewell. I sure will. Although, I mean, what what alcohol does Zoltan get? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm only uh, making... I'm pretty sure I've only brought alcohol for Dandelion, myself, and Shani, so... Maybe he should bring his own? <laughs> maybe? Or maybe Shani will actually provide some? Who knows? Okay, so, when's the party? Uh, possibly now? Can't imagine they would be during the day, though. Isn't she supposed to be working during the day? Okay, a restless ghost. Hildegard asked me to deal the ki asked me to deal the case. Hmm. Hildegard asked me to deal the case of her late husband. His ghost is said to appear in the cemetery at midnight. I have to send him into the beyond. Okay. Well, let's try this. Let's see if Shani's home. I can't handle this! Oh, My she is. Heart! Help! What now? Such debauchery under my roof! She hooks herself a musician or something! It's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame! I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now! Shall I chaperone them? Finally! You're making sense! <laughs> okay, Grandma. That was a bit over the top, hun. But whatever. Hey, here he is. Okay. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Kahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. <laughs> yeah. So I've heard. I lost my memory. But I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends. Sounds a bit like a ballad. It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down. Have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. Hmm. Okay. Okie dokie. Yet another person reacts rather weirdly upon seeing me. Dandelion maintains he saw me die. I think I need a drink. Yeah. Me too. Shani, hook me up. You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. How can you not know Zoltan? You you told me to go and see him about the uh, Cohen sword. That is so weird. Well. So, everything's ready. Let's have a drink. Um. 
Zoltan not coming? I've been thinking and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? Cry and run away. <laughs> you said we've been through a lot together, so you should know. Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Hmm. Hmm. I'll go for the bottom one. Dandelion, believe me, if you could tell a Bruxa to hunt rabbits, for instance, I'd be long unemployed. What about higher vampires? They're rare. I don't know. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a higher vampire. Dandelion. Cheers! Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Hey, finally. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for good bees. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. <laughs> Just one. The party is going on. Me and Dandelion had a discussion. My head is spinning. Oh. <laughs> Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. Bees is best, I always say. <laughs> it depends. For a romantic dinner for two, booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but don't mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. Cheers! <laughs> Let's test it. Gosh, look at this mess. Let's talk to Shani this time. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. Yeah, good. Everyone should like Zoltan. <laughs> Let's talk to Dandelion. So, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. <laughs> Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. <laughs> In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. He was your friend and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Rusty. Rusty? Okay, so the party's still going on. At this pace, some of the guests will end up under the table rather soon. Probably. It's completely dark down there. Dark down where? What? You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. That mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them tomorrow. Wait a second. Why me? Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion will. He'd mess up. You don't know that, but okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Well, I already got that, but let's move that here. There. Sultan asked me to bring him some pickles and lard from Grandma downstairs. Considering the state I'm in, this might be hard to achieve without making a hell of a lot of noise, but hey, I'm a witcher after all. Luckily, I already picked them up. <laughs> so I don't need to worry. It's completely dark down there. It sure is. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. Fine. <laughs> Lard will do. Okay, so Dandelion is going to sing. I think. Oh, I can't sit down. Oh, this is very psychedelic. <laughs> Do I need to interact with him? I can't remember. And I don't want to ruin it just in case I don't need to. Let's see what he prepared for the occasion. Okay. Uh, let's stumble closer. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, Dandelion. Oh, thank God. By the woods, can you see? Wolf in all his might. Grinning madly, wagging gladly, bouncing with delight. My oh my, what a sight. Why no melancholy? Must be that, still not wed. That is why so jolly. Arr, arr. Arr! In the grass, can you see? Wolf just limps along. Looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that, freshly wed or lately engaged. Arr! 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 What? Zoltan, how's the wife? <laughs> ah, hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. Sweet. Oh, and Dandelion is running out the door. <laughs> yep, that seems true to character, I think. Even Shani is leaving. Oh my god, come on. Get to the door. <laughs> well, that was fun, anyway. The party's over. I'll sure be hung over in the morning. Maybe I should visit Shani, bring her some roses and say thanks. Yeah, no. Don't really care about Shani's love card. Okay. Well, that was funny. So, <laughs> that song that he sang though, that was terrible. Really terrible. But it's over now, so... Other than uh, bringing Shani some roses to say thank you for the night, I think this ghost and the um, freaking dog tallow. That's all I need now. Everything else is in the swamp. And it's, it's kind of annoying. I'd hoped to have gotten those done by now, but... That's what happens when you refuse to kill poor innocent dogs. So... <laughs> well, we'll just have to suffer for a bit, I think. So, I am going to go and sleep off this intoxication. And I will see you all fresh-faced for next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. I upload three videos a week, so subscribe and you'll be notified when those go live. Hit the bell to update your notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.